right. All right, Deirdre and Shelly. Hey, welcome. Thanks so much for Absolutely. Me. Thank you. Coming Hi, in Jason. all the way from Detroit. Hi. Awesome. That's great. So tell us what brings you here today. Well, we're really excited to share the story of the nonprofit we run called great. Challenge Detroit. Okay, we're tell excited. us about it. Is all about attracting and retaining talent to the city of Detroit. People from the city, people from across the country, even sometimes other parts of the world, who are really passionate about the opportunity to make an impact, but more importantly, to learn by doing. That's, how did you get started in this? Like, what, what, how did this begin? Well, we started back in 2007, about the time when the recession was hitting, and it was hitting really hard in Michigan and especially Detroit, as you surely know. And we said, we need an opportunity to keep people here. Young talent is leaving in mass. How can we keep talent here? Talent that are passionate about making a difference in their community. And so we, Shelly and I met by happenstance at one point, and we have another visionary leader that's a part of our team, and it's just amazing to see what has come of in the city and from our program over the past almost 10 years now. That's amazing. That's what, what, tell me about some of the victories. Tell me about some of the big successes you're most proud of. Uh, so we actually launched in 2012 officially as a as an official nonprofit, and we run a fellowship program. So we um, have different partners. We partner with companies from across the city, like General Motors, oh, okay. um, Goodwill Industries, a whole variety of, of companies, and they employ the talent that we bring and keep in the city. And then we partner with nonprofits, and we've done incredible projects with nonprofits like the Coalition on Temporary Shelter, the Detroit Riverfront Conservancy, and even the Mayor's Office. What is what's been the you're, you're working with a ton of different groups? I mean, that feels like you know it just must be like dealing with so much email and phone calls. Like, what have you learned about prioritizing, or which which folks to talk to, or how to even deal with the incoming, how to make the ask, like how you deal with the, just the bandwidth of that sure, operation? That's a great question. So something that really matters to us is cross-sector partnerships and collaboration and that multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary aspect. Mm -hmm. So we often think of Challenge of Trade as an ecosystem because we want to be a diverse, inclusive community where we're bringing all kinds of partners together. Would you like to add on? I think we've learned that everyone matters. And whether it's the smallest organization, a startup, someone we've never even met, or right. a leader at one of our Fortune 500 companies in Detroit, everyone and every organization plays a very significant role in what's happening in Detroit right now. And we want them to be, like Shelly said, part of our ecosystem. And we want to be part of theirs. You know, Jason, I was going to say, first we heard about the, the get out of your comfort zone, yep. make sure that you're being part of something bigger. Second is we heard about really that come together along what i'm hearing you say is like bring everyone along together yeah so if you're what is it what's the trick when somebody's not sure how to really kind of take the leap out into getting out of the comfort zone that you did what what do, would you tell them to, to to get them to know that that leap is actually safe yeah well i we would say go for it as two women who are running this nonprofit and one thing that we're super excited about is that we've at, we're in our five-year anniversary, so this is the fifth year of running our fellowship program. Deirdre, do you want to add on? I would just say, don't be afraid to take that risk. Risks are incredibly scary. You don't know what the outcome is, but yeah. if you trust, if you have a vision, and we really believe in setting a strong vision for our organization, right. and I'd say, as women leaders in the community for ourselves, set your vision and go for it. And yeah. we practice that with our fellows all of the time. That's great. How do you define the vision for the, what's the, what's Our vision is to see Detroit as a holistic community where we can bring everyone together. So we really look at our vision as a part of Detroit's bigger vision, where, again, we can bring people together from all different sectors, yeah. from all different industries, all different ages, and really be a place where we can talk about making a social impact and using our intellectual capital to make that impact. I think I think I love that part about like an, attaching your vision and your mission to the larger one because right. I think that helps make it all the more real to the people working on it. There's a lot of people who have been working so very hard and so very long in Detroit and as we all know there are challenges in Detroit. We call Challenge Detroit Challenge Detroit for right. a reason. But there's also incredible good work going on and we're just one of the many organizations in Detroit right now doing all that good work and continuing to move forward with everyone. That's and, awesome. Yeah, I was going to just mention real quick, you know, like, one of the things that you're powerfully talking about is one of the places that is super important to the president is Detroit. And, uh, and including that on Thursday, the Opportunity Project that the president leads is going to be announcing a number of the commitments that are going to be working, working to help scale projects like yours. Wow, we love hearing that. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, Detroit's important to us too, of course. Right. But I think that... Not only historically has Detroit been a hub for innovation and entrepreneurship, but we're seeing that in a very different way.
way today. And the automotive industry is important. We are still absolutely the Motor City, but to see the nonprofits, the startups, the tech industries that we're partnering with, it's pretty awesome. That's great. That's great. Awesome. That's well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. We're really glad you could come. Thanks Hope for you all have the a great afternoon. Doing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right.